Coming up, we will be talking about changes and updates to iPads in the classroom. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin. And my name is Ashley Roki. And this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge. And today we're talking about the changes and updates that we've done to our website, to our YouTube channel, and other channels. And the first thing I want to say is this is really done because a lot of you have contacted us and said, it's fantastic what you're doing. I've joined you with the 150th video and it's a little bit overwhelming finding other videos. So what we've done is really try to reorganize and make it in a way that you can find what you need and you can watch the things that are relevant to what you're, what you're doing. So let's start with YouTube. Okay, so there's a few things that we have done to the YouTube channel. First of all, when you come to the home page, you are going to see sections, which is really nice because you can simply click on that section and it will take you to the list of all the playlists that I have entered into those sections. So for example, the largest section I put on here was iPad applications from a, for across the content areas. So if you click on that, It'll bring you in here and it'll have all of these playlists. And so if you're teaching math or you're interested in teaching math with iPads, you go to that specific li list and then instead of 160 or so uh, videos, you will actually have 13 videos that will be the most relevant ones and then you can select. Mm -hmm. So you go to a playlist and when you go to the playlist, you are able to select which specific video you would like to watch. You don't need to watch all of them, so you can just um, zoom in to the ones that you would find necessary for your teaching. And we try to have the titles uh, tell as much as possible in a short amount of space about what's included. Look at the notes if you're not sure if that video is appropriate for what you're doing. Look at our de more detailed notes and see if that's appropriate for the grade level you're working and sometimes it's worth just sampling and seeing if this is something you can use. Again, when you have a smaller list of 13, it is feasible to actually watch all of them. We'd like you mm -hmm. to watch all of them. That's really where it's at, <laughs> uh, repeatedly if possible. But uh, this is a way for us to organize and make sure that if you're teaching something specific, you have quick access mm -hmm. uh, to that area. So we have sections, we have playlists, and we will keep updating them as we move along. And if you have more suggestions, please make them because it does help us organize this a little better. So the next thing I want to show you is our website and I'll take you this is our website our address is chs.unl.edu slash tlt slash tech edge and what you can see here is that we have different sections we talk about our general mission in the main page we talk about our conferences uh, there's updates from Twitter if you want to follow me on Twitter uh, at tgite or uh, follow the hashtag UNL Tech Edge. Both will work. We have a feed here from the hashtag UNL Tech Edge that will show up. So if you don't want to, or if you don't work on Twitter, you can still get some of that information there. And then if you click on weekly podcasts, you will see our latest podcasts. And uh, later this month, we're going to add our main playlists, just like they are on YouTube, to this main page. So you're able to see actually all of our videos on this main page and be able to access them by topic. So it's another way for us to organize and serve all of that content to you uh, in a way that uh, will be quick and easy. So that's our uh, web page. And again, we'll welcome any comments or additions for that. The other thing that I want to share with you is uh, we have a group on LinkedIn and that group is called UNL Tech Edge. And when you go to that group, so if you go, and I'm on purpose on the iPad on uh, LinkedIn, you can do that on your computer as well, and you go to the group, you can see this is UNL's Tech Edge, and you can see that there are different posts for different people, discussions, we have over 160 members, and we'll be happy to have more. And we're trying to have discussions, but also to push our content out. So if you are on our LinkedIn group, you will get the weekly message about podcasts, the weekly message about 
a, any blog posts and things like that and interesting discussions with other educators. I highly recommend joining that. You don't have to be active. You can be just a passive uh, participant, but we'd like you to participate more actively, post new ideas, ask questions, and really try to interact as much as possible. Uh, in addition to that, we do have a Facebook group. Now, I would argue that you don't necessarily want to follow us on all channels. We'd love to have as many people as possible. But if you are following us on LinkedIn, you don't have to do it on Facebook. But if you are uh, very Facebook oriented and you, you like doing some of your professional works on Facebook, you can like our uh, Facebook fa page as well. It's called Tech Edge. You can search for it and then uh, like us and you will get the same kind of updates. And I can show that to you as well. So this is our page on uh, Facebook and uh, we'd like to get more people engaged with our page. Again, we're pushing our videos, comments, photos from our events, conferences, and all of that. So if you want to stay connected and Facebook is your social media of choice, we're there as well. And really what I'm trying to say is to stay current professionally, you have to choose some social media uh, channels you have to choose something that you feel comfortable with uh, in one of the next few episodes we'll talk about twitter and what you can do professionally on twitter you've done this i'm i'm very active on twitter and i really like twitter but i know that people have their own preferences and that's why we're on facebook we're on linkedin we're on twitter we're even in on some of the social media in china and we try to stay with people wherever they are so if there's somewhere we should be and we're not, let us know. Today on iPads in the Classroom, we talked a lot about uh, where we are and how we're making changes to try and accommodate it as much as possible, what you need and a way to reach you. And we'll work more on that in the future. We're open to suggestions mm -hmm. and we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.